Hello artists, let's go on a texture hunt. What is texture? Well, texture is how something feels or how something looks like it feels. So in a piece of art, we might not be able to touch something, but we could tell maybe by looking at it how it would feel. So you can't touch this, but you can tell by looking at it probably how it would feel. And you could use some words to describe it. You might say it looks like it's soft or it's fuzzy or it's fluffy. Another texture word we might use is smooth, like a piece of glass in the middle of a frame would be smooth. Or we might say it's silky or glossy, or even like if you had a piece of slime. Slime is kind of smooth and you might say something is slimy. But we're not looking for soft textures today. We're not going on that kind of a hunt. We're not going on a smooth texture hunt. What I want you to go on is a rough texture hunt. Some things that are maybe lumpy or bumpy or a little bit pokey. So along the side of this frame are some tulip flowers that are etched in and that creates a little bit of a rough surface. And for today, for your texture hunt, your textures need to be um, hard. You don't want something really so um, soft or it will not make a good rubbing. So we're going to do crayon rubbing with textures and you could even say a little chant if you wanted to like some of you have gone on bear hunts or squeegee hunts and you could say going on a texture hunt. I'm not afraid. Got my paper by my side and my crayons too. And that's all you need for the texture hunt. Those are your only supplies and you need your good detective skills to find textures that could easily rub. So in mine here, if I lift it up a little bit so that you can see, I found several textures around my house. This was a tile on the floor. This was the vent on the side of my air fryer and this was a little emblem on the air fryer. This one right here was a space heater in the bathroom. This one didn't do as well. This is the heel of a boot, but the boot had a soft heel. And then these I'll show you in a minute. This background that I kind of used to unify my picture was a doily um, that was from one of my tables. And I'll show you that in a minute. But this one was my favorite. And this one was the, any guesses? Any guesses? It was the bottom of a shoe. And that is rubber, but it's kind of a hard rubber. And it's the bottom of a shoe. So all you have to do to do a crayon rubbing is go ahead and take your paper, put it over what you would like to rub, and you kind of want to use the side, not the tip, and I don't want to go like this as much, but I kind of want to use the side of my crayon and press into it. And I get, like with this shoe, a really cool texture rubbing. And if I do the bottom of the shoe, you notice that the pattern on the bottom of the shoe is different than the pattern at the top of the shoe. So I am going to get a little bit different look to my rubbing. So see, I'm not going straight up and down. I'm using kind of the side of my crayon. And as you go around the house, you're going to want to go around with a parent because you want to make sure you don't run off the edge of your page and get crayon like on your air fryer, like I used my air fryer. And, and go on walks in different rooms of your house and see what you can find. This right here was on the side of our wood stove. There was a, a place on the side of our wood stove that was a design. It had some open holes there. This was like just a decorative, um, part, a little brass piece on a, a chest, an old chest that we have. And so I just went around the house and found different uh, pieces. So here is that frame again that I showed you earlier. And these are kind of indented and this is a hard surface. So I can take that frame and let's do red for my tulips. Again, I'm not going to be afraid to overlap a little bit. And you can kind of see, I'll put it up here in just a second, that those tulips, when I do my crayon rubbing, 
that the part that what is raised catches the crayon better than the part that's indented and I can make a rubbing of those. Now notice that I ran off the page again. I did some things to unify my picture. That means to kind of bring my designs together. One thing I did is I repeated some colors. The other thing I did is I kind of used one pattern over and over again and that pattern happened to come from this doily. And so I rubbed and got these. Well, you might say, Mrs. Fretz, that's soft. And you said not to use soft, but it's, I put it on a hard surface to help me out. So here's another one. And it has kind of this neat section in the center. So let's just try and, and don't uh, be afraid to use black because again, black can make other colors pop. I'm gonna kind of center that. And let's see what happens if I use the side of my black crayon to rub this flower that is in the center. And I'm starting to get a nice design and I'll pull it up a little bit closer so that you can see it. So think about places in the house, walk around and go on a texture hunt and see what you can find. One more thing is I told you to find hard textures and not soft textures, but also flat. Uh, what I mean by flat is, yes, we want those kind of bumpy um, surfaces or rough surfaces, but see how this is a curved surface and I thought, oh, look at that raised and that'll be really pretty if I can get those roses. It's harder if the surface is curved. So look for things that you can kind of get uh, that have some, uh, a little bit of depth to them, but not so much or not a curved surface and have fun going on a texture hunt. And if you would like, this is an optional assignment, but if you would like to post a picture in your portfolio, I would love to see them. See you later.